As a newcomer to astrophotography and telescopes, I recently got the chance to check out the Dwarf 2 Smart Telescope and diving into this world for the first time was a real eye-opening experience. This telescope's features, high resolution sensors and precision optics all work together to allow astrophotography beginners to ease into this hobby. To familiarize myself with the Dwarf 2, I started with solar and lunar imaging because the sun and the moon are prominent in the sky and are easy to explore and photograph. The ND filters, which are included in the Deluxe Edition, were essential for solar photography. Magnetically attaching these filters to the telescope allowed me to capture details of the sun, like sunspots and sun flares, without harming the telescope sensors. They reduced the sun's brightness, enabling me to take clear images that showed the active nature of the sun's surface. For lunar photography, the Dwarf 2 was also very good, allowing me to capture clear photos of the moon, but I got the best results when I manually set the focus and set the shutter speed. What makes the Dwarf 2 a really good choice for beginners interested in photographing the sun and the moon is its ease of use and the straightforward results it delivers. To capture faint nebula, distant galaxies and star clusters, one needs long exposure times and accurate tracking of the night sky's motion. The Dwarf 2 tackles many of these challenges with its tracking system. This system adjusts for the Earth's rotation, keeping the telescope aligned with celestial objects for longer periods of time. This precision is vital in astrophotography where even minor movements can blur images during long exposures. A key feature of the Dwarf 2 working alongside its tracking is its plate solving capability. Plate solving uses a database of star patterns to accurately identify and align the telescope's position in the sky. This is particularly beneficial for astrophotography because it ensures precise targeting and tracking of celestial objects. For beginners, this feature demystifies the process of locating objects in the vast night sky making the initial steps into astrophotography that much easier. Once you've positioned the telescope and it has solved the plate matching to know what it's looking at, you simply choose your target nebula or galaxy in the app and the telescope automatically positions itself. This ability to easily find and focus on distant celestial bodies is extremely useful, especially if you have no idea where in the sky a galaxy or nebula is. When you begin with the Dwarf 2, it's important to set realistic expectations if you're new to astrophotography because it requires a lot of time and patience. It's not as simple as pointing it at the night sky and instantly capturing stunning visuals. The process is lengthy, involving a learning curve where you'll need to experiment and engage in extended shooting sessions. And it also involves an understanding of the intricacies of capturing and effectively processing images. Post-capture image processing using software such as Cyril is crucial because images captured at first glance do look a bit uninspiring, but following a few steps to enhance the raw images reveals details and colors not initially visible, and that's where the magic happens. Once you've learned to adjust contrast, brightness, and color balance, you can uncover the complex structures of nebula or galaxy spiral arms. So mastering these software tools becomes an integral part of the astrophotography experience, but the Dwarf 2 is equally important in capturing the raw images. As a beginner, I found the Dwarf 2 to be an excellent astrophotography telescope due to its intuitive interface, automated features that reduce guesswork, and its portability. Even though this is primarily a telescope, the Dwarf 2 offers an additional bonus with its capability to photograph and film wildlife. The tracking system is great at following wildlife in motion, ensuring that your subject stays in focus at all times. The telescope's high-resolution imaging allows you to capture the finer details in wildlife, such as the complex patterns of birds' feathers or the varied expressions of animals in their natural setting. The telescope's robust build and user-friendly design also adds to the appeal for outdoor use as it can withstand various environmental conditions. Its portability is again a significant advantage for wildlife watchers, enabling easy transportation to different observation sites. All in all, the Dwarf 2 Smart Telescope is a great option for anyone that wants to get into astrophotography, striking a balance between advanced functionality, portability, and affordability. Its tracking system, plate matching, and automated celestial object location capabilities are key features that significantly enhance the astrophotography experience. The telescope's portability is probably its most significant advantage and its compact design and ease of setup make it an ideal choice for both backyard astronomers 
and those who want to venture to darker places to capture darker skies. In terms of price, the Dwarf 2 offers good value for money because it boasts features and capabilities usually associated with more expensive models, making high quality astrophotography accessible to more people. And the Dwarf 2 is not just limited to astrophotography, it excels in solar and lunar observation and wildlife watching, making it a versatile tool for various hobbies. So given its extensive feature set, user-friendly interface and competitive pricing, I would definitely recommend the Dwarf 2 Telescope. I hope that you have found this review useful and interesting. If you have any questions, please pop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye.